So I was sitting here and thinking and thinking, where do you start in all of this? Where, where do, where would you start? I, I, still, I, I'm not sure. I, I came up with something, obviously, or I wouldn't have started the video, but I'm not sure it's the best, but here it is. It seems like a sensible starting point to me. It's a conversation about, in essence, protection. The kind of protection like what men are wired to do. Protect and provide. Yes, this is the type of protection I'm talking about. So we can all agree, as men, that protection and being able to protect oneself and others is a good thing, a valuable thing, a, a, a virtue even worth pursuit and becoming good at, right? Within reason, with prudence, in a variety of circumstances and places. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to be very specific about a term that could get vague, so let's not get vague. You know me, I like specifics. So, specifically, the big pot of gold message that all of this comes with and can offer this, this priceless, right, asset, this, this mental and intellectual capability that one can gain from learning how to defend oneself effectively against cops, lawyers, and judges, whether it's on the street or in a courtroom or anywhere in between, this pot of gold asset that I'm trying to convince people to invest the time long enough to gain, and to investigate at least, starts with the ability to defend oneself. And I really want to expand on this. Here we go. Some might think, well, okay, I get it. Uh, you made your point, move on. No, I haven't made my point. In the common culture, defending oneself is just like, yeah, okay, I'm safe, secure right now. Uh, I don't even have a gun, but, you know, I, the places I go, I've been going my whole life. I've never had a single problem in decades and decades, and I'm going to the same places and never had a fight or nothing, no problem. You know, government, leave me alone, you know, minor problem, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I can defend myself, and then, hey, you know, loved one got into some problems, I handled it handled it i can defend myself and others okay i hear you that's going to be an extremely common thought process and response to a challenge of no you can't <laughs> can you can you <laughs> now the second objection is going to be why would you be so petty you think because i pay a traffic ticket or some other ticket or fee or some other whatever Losing income, monies in some way, uh, because it's a small amount, and it's just relatively just easier to go about life and the important things in life, and not focus on the small stuff. Just pay the fine and go about life. Don't deal with this nonsense headache. That's going to be a very popular response as well. So I'm going to be dealing and addressing with both in the context of talking about protection. You know, if this title, the video is going to be on personal protection of self and others, of course. Everything about others starts with self. So I'm not even going to talk about others on this one because it's all self. If you cannot protect oneself, you certainly can't protect your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, your daughter, your brothers, your family. You can't protect anybody. Okay. So there's levels. Do you want to be able to protect yourself on just the big stuff but not the small stuff? Or a shade of gray in between? I myself don't exist in shades of gray in between the standard I have set for myself. And I'm not saying this is cool or that anybody else should go by it. I'm just letting you know where I'm coming from. No, I understand where I'm speaking. I don't allow any intrusion into my personal protection. Other than <laughs> the most tiniest, it has to qualify in a couple of ways. One super minor, and we're talking like paying your property tax on your car every year. And two, if you really picked a fight with it, it would have virtually zero power potential with a jury. And therefore, zero power against prosecutors and judges and cops. 
not that it would go that serious, obviously. I'm just letting you know, big picture. You need to be, if you're going to fight a fight, it has to be something that a potential jury, the, the prosecution and the judge have to be worried that, oh no, a random pool of even our jurists could be swayed by a skilled articulation of what actually happened and uh, not have it go our way and have this big embarrassing waste of time and energy on our government side, right? Uh, man, it's so easy to get off in the weeds, and it's, it's so critical uh, time-wise. Uh, let's keep it short and sweet. I'm talking about being able to protect yourself, gentlemen. Whether you're a teenager or you're 90, 100 years old, this is what I'm talking about. And the, the issue with the guns is a totally different topic, and I'll make that one. My opinion's there, but not that they're important or worth listening to. But hey, it's my journal, it's my channel, I can post whatever I want, blah. I'm talking about... Being able to say no. I'm talking about the actual reality of what's going on when you get pulled over by a cop. An armed man, paid by the government, is approaching you from your most vulnerable angle. From behind the vehicle, it's difficult to turn around, see, respond. They have all the advantage. They're wearing sunglasses. They don't even like you to have your windows tinted. They want to be able to see everything. And they've got a flashlight. They check everything. They can have a dog. And you're like, okay, just give me my ticket, and then I'll just pay it in the mail, and I can protect myself. I mean, all kinds of star athletes, popular celebrities, world famous people with billions of fuck you. Mo- I'm doing all this new content without swearing. Oops. With with all kinds of, I don't have to do what anyone in this world tells me to do. Money, I can do whatever I want. Money. Can't even. Do what I'm talking about. Can't even defend themselves against the most basic of charge, the most, the least serious charge the government has. They can't even defend themselves against that, right? Oh, I gotta get a get a lawyer, right? So again, it's just the principle we're talking about. Remove all ego. Remove all finances, remove all job considerations, family, outside, everything else. I'm just talking about, as a man, do you want to be able to defend yourself in all situations or not? Okay? And specifically, this channel has to do with cops, lawyers, and judges, and specifically courtrooms, because we're the only ones that do it the right way. Yeah, I said it. Bold claims require bold evidence. Keep listening. The evidence is coming. I promise. I have, I don't know, over 100 videos on this channel just privatized. (laughs) That go into it all. But anyway, anyway, zero ego, zero, all humility, all smiles, all laughter, all chill, good times. All right. Protecting oneself. If you don't value this why are you listening just turn us off go about your life if you do not want to be able to tell the police i'm not paying you a 200 hundred dollar fine because i crept through the orange light and went through and it was that technically red but it was zero harm no foul nothing dangerous there's no traffic's coming through i went through there was nobody even coming close to still going through <laughs> Or just something, to, you know, whatever. Oh, I was going 80 in a, in a 65 or 55 on a dry date. There's no traffic around. There's nothing dangerous. I've got nice tires. There's no, you know, like, whatever. Oh, it's just a joint more back in the day, right? It's just all these non-violent victimless criminal charges that they largely just use to get extortion money from, right? Uh, if you don't value your ability to be able to defend yourself from this, then don't listen to this anymore. Don't listen to this anymore. But see, I just don't, I can't comprehend this. I don't understand how a, a man, a, 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 I won't even say that phrase, how a being can exist in a human male body. And the psychology, the common psych, evolutionarily, you know, psychological wiring we all have and, and not be like, yeah, I want to be able to protect myself against local government, cops, lawyers, and judges. Lawyers and judges, are you kidding me? I would just settle for cops. You're telling me I'm going to be able to, yes, I am, mofo. Lawyers and judges. Yes, judges too. Politicians too. There's not a one of them. Now, given the right level, (laughs) right? I'm not saying Ross Ulbricht wouldn't be in prison right now. (laughs) Or a person more of you probably know is Julian Assange, right? Who just got out. 
Praise Zeus for that. <sighs> what a victory. What a gosh. Anyway, another time, another time. So, young man, sir, gentleman, whoever you are listening to this, do you want to be able to defend yourself? Do you value that? Because if right now you don't think you can, well, you're right. You know, but do you, what would you be willing to do so that you could? Let me just give you an example. Humbly, humbly, humble example, but just to show you, okay? What I can do, because I know how to do all this stuff, not, doesn't just serve me with cops, lawyers, and judges. It serves me in all aspects of life. Every situation I ever come across, every interaction with every human being I ever come across, this can, this plays to my advantage, okay? Specifically, but with cops, lawyers, and judges. Last time I got pulled over and got a ticket. Ran through red. It was orange. Ran through it. Cops right there. Damn it. I was halfway through the intersection. Knew it. Yep. He pulled me over. Gave me a ticket. It was at night. There was no... There was late. There was a very couple of cars at each intersection. Nobody came through. No, I could have done it a billion times in a hypothetical universe and never caused any problem whatsoever, inconvenience or whatever. Gave me a ticket. Normally, they would just get, you know, this is a $150 fine. This is points on your record. Your insurance rates are going to go up. Uh, if you get another one, that's going to go up even further. It's this exponential threat of uh, finances, right? And uh, they don't just let those go. I told the cop, uh, I'm going to get it dismissed. Boom. The first one, I got it dismissed. He called me. We exchanged phone numbers. I told him. He was like, wow. The time before that, I got a ticket for, what was it for that one? I can't remember. God. Another piddly charge, whatever, something like that, traffic, whatever. Uh, two times dismissed. Just dismissed. Just gone. I don't get tickets. I drive like 85 miles an hour when it's really safe to. Why not? What? What? what, uh, what? I'm going to get a pull over and get a ticket? Great. I need the practice. I don't get to go to court very often. Like, you don't understand. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Now, imagine if someone else who I truly cared about was like, getting in trouble with the law i you don't think i can't take care of that for him i'm gonna be able to take care of that for him right but i've just always had this thing like you just not i'm just not going to allow a bully to bully me in any way shape or form at all at all that's not gonna happen now you'll get me to pay property tax once a year i'm just sliding some cash across to a sheep employee statist right if it's a human being a couple or a judge in person no i'm sorry no there's no, and it's, there's nothing ego or tough guy about it. It's just, no, it's just, I just like that about me. I think that's the way men should be. And I'm going to live my whole life on that anyway. So that's what I'm talking about. That's this gold pot, right? It's like, you don't even understand yet how valuable this is. Everything to do with work. I've always had a tremendous advantage. E everything to do with like relationships. You know how much? How many trip ups and snares and drama I have dodged that would have caught other people? Do you have any like money I haven't had to pay because companies are trying to rip me off? Uh, just it just got, any phone call with business whatsoever. If you want to, God, you got to call insurance. You got to call this, that, and the other. You got to deal with life, right? You instantly know when someone's trying to sling you bullshit. You instantly know how to counter it. You instantly know everything, and that's just part of it. Like God. If, you, if, if the government ever truly goes to war with you, you'll be able to contend with that without a lawyer, without spending all that money. I know I'm not even doing an effective job. I just, all this, you know, zero editing, it's just one hit, there it is, post. So it's far from perfect, but this is what I'm trying to convey. I wish I just had a matrix plug to shove in the back of your head and be like, look. This is a warm security blanket that never goes away and nobody can ever take away from you. And so very few people not only have it today, have ever had it, who have ever been human beings on this planet, this existence. Do you understand? This is like how to cut through all forms of bullshit. Does a religion come your way trying to convert you? Right? Some other kind of political ideology. Does an educational system? Is there somebody from medical field telling you something that affects your life? This is a truth detection, like <laughs> just an angel on your shoulder. Think of it however you want to. No money can buy it. 
and nobody can take it from you. And I just can't imagine living my life without it. And I've always had it to some degree. And that has served me well. Just my own natural personality I got a lucky roll of dice with. But it really started when it got razor sharpened to what was that, nine years ago in 2015. If you want this to keep listening, I'll try to make the title words interesting enough for you to click on. But all you have to lose is a little bit of time in your very relatively longer life. And you have this thing to gain that is not even from me or makes me cool. It's this thing out in the universe that I just came across. I'm like, look, and when you fully get it, I promise you're going to do the same thing. You're be like, hey, if you ever come across somebody who's struggling and you want to help them out, you're like, yo, look, 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 look what I can do. Look, look, look. And you just start saying words and then just flows out of your face and there's nothing they can they, nothing they can do they, anyone slinging bullshit they just they, they should have to shut up and go away or get angry <laughs> oh god I can't imagine my life without this my god I don't have to imagine I do and how much more difficult it was anyway yeah that's it 16 minutes and 25 seconds 26 27 